Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with some good old Fate Grand Order. Today's video, we're going back to the grind session. As today, it's going to be a grind event, fighting against, uh, I believe it's Vlad, yes. So Vlad drops stakes, if I'm remembering right. So what that means is that it's time to farm him hardcore, uh, crazy, to a crazy degree, as I'll say. Let's go here. We're gonna need Mo for this. I don't know why I did that. That feels like there we go. Well, that doesn't even doesn't makes even less sense. Go here. Go here. Get back my waiver. Oh damn it. Okay, so I don't know how this happened. Okay. We go here. This one. Yep. Go here. Give him this. Give him that. And we're good. And I got my Da Vinci C because there's a whole bunch of money. Oh, I'm going to try and ignore all the comments I'm getting from my Dragalia video, but if it happens, know that I'm doing it because I love talking about Dragalia stuff. So, alright, let's go in. Dragalia, real good game, by the way. Uh, this guy says, I wish uh, Dragalia lost cold banners like GBF if I dislike banner collab units. I feel them. It, I, th I think it actually does kind of suck that, um, which is, I think, a point towards um, Grand Blue Fantasy is that all their collab units are basically free. Uh, I mean, f they're free to play units, so you just get them. I think there's actually some good and bad that comes from having units that are only free, like... Which is weird to be doing this in a Fate Grand Order. I think Fate Grand Order, by the way, does free uh, units great. Because usually the free units we get are um, new costumes for units we either already like or people were wanting. Or are brand new units that you end up liking just for the story stuff in general. But they end up being pretty solid throughout. Some people don't like Liz, but those people are wrong. I love Liz. Support, nothing but support for the Pop Princess. Um, this is a bad starting hand. Because we did not get... Um, Two mo cards. So it's fine. I doubt he'll use guts or something. I was about to say, I swear to God, old man, if you use guts. Oh no, my quick is down. How will Mo fight without her quick? It's really a thinker on that one. Anyway, like I was saying, um. Oh, actually, let me quickly. This might be causing some video problems. I have Photoshop open. There we go. Close that down real quick. Pause the video. All right, now we're back. Um, yeah, I like the way Fake does their free characters because either they're super good or they're characters that you really like. Like, um, or they're based off five versions. Like the free summer unit is always like usually the most popular girl for that year, the for the previous year. That's usually how they do it. So the first, um, the first year summer uh, event unit was Skathatch. Because Skithatch was basically brand new to Fake Grand Order, and people loved the hell out of her, and she was big. The only one I want to say that actually legitimately breaks the cycle. And then the next one was um, Ishtar. People love Ishtar, and uh, for good reason, too. Because um, she looks exactly like Rin. Not because of her personality, it sucks. But she looks damn good. And she can occasionally be really funny, actually. Not to harp on the wifey too hard, but... Um, what was I talking about? And then the other one is Jolter, which is a Berserker Jolter that does the Hiei move from um, the Hiei move from Yu Yu Hakusho. That already makes her the uh, uh, Dragon of the Darkness Flame. There you go. That's the name of it. Fantastic unit. And then the next one is the Foreigner Girl, which I can't remember the name of right now because it's super crazy Japanese. So I just don't know it. If I actually had her in the NA side, I would remember her name. The one who made the Ukiyo paintings, I want to say. But yeah, I like the way they do free to play units. I can understand, especially if they're a collab, you kind of want the collab unit, you know, to be fair. Um, it kind of sucks because there's totally people who walk into a collab uh, collab event and don't have the. and leave it without the collab unit. And that sucks. That honestly really does suck. Um, I think in general, uh, if you're going to do a collab event, you need to have at least one unit that's free. 
I think that's pretty good. And it just so happens, unfortunately, for the Fire Emblem Heroes events, it's always characters from Fire Emblem Heroes. If you're like me and you don't and you like them good enough, then you're perfectly fine with them for free. But some other people are like, I wish Marf was free. I wish Tiki was free. I wish it was like literally anyone else. But hey, what can you do? Did I even check to see if I got any damn? Um, I did not check, by the way. I'll check this one if I see if I get any stakes. See if it even if he even drops stakes, by the way. She should be able to kill him this turn. If she doesn't, I'll be actually kind of surprised. Because she's going to be doing hella damage with this. Stop me if you heard this one before. Waver, a Buster, and Merlin do a lot of damage. It's the cheapest move, I know. But, hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it, is what I say. Now let me tell you, this is broken and they've chosen not to fix it, so whatever. It's only a shame that Arts only has Tamamomo, who is not as good as... She's good. I'm not gonna lie and say, like, oh, she's terrible, because she's not terrible. She's a great unit. She's just not on the same level as Waver, Merlin, and um, Scotty. Oh, I just realized someone... Um, I just did it. I called her Skatash. That's, that's not how you say her name. It's uh, Skahawk. And I'm probably saying that wrong. Ooh! Gonna screenshot that. Yeah. Uh, I looked up, so someone very kindly <laughs> told me how to correctly pronounce it. And, ooh, steaks. Yeah, baby. Two steaks? That's all I'm doing tonight. All I'm doing is grinding this. Man. Uh, but I, I, I looked it up, and it's kind of like, he says the, the hatch at the end is pronounced more like hawk in hockey. So it'd be skahawk. Skahawk. Um... Someone also said to me, why not just color what the Japanese color, which is Shisho. And I'm going to say, that's the coward's way out. Her name is Skahak. And I'm going to pronounce her. Skahak. I turned into Penta, by the way. So that was uh, me doing a terrible Finnish accent of someone pronouncing it in... Um, is it Irish or is it Gaelic? You can, pro you can correct me on this one because I'm not 100% sure on it. Um, so yeah. Summer Skahak. There you go. I'm still saying it wrong because, you know, American. But I'm, I'm, it's, an, it's a learning process. Uh, if I, I say if you're going to play Fake Grand Order, you should try and learn how to say everyone's name in the correct place they come from. I say knowing full well I'm not saying Quetzalcoatl correctly. I think it's either pronounced Quetzalcoatl or Quetzalcoatl. It's one of the two. I just like saying Quetzalcoatl. Move another kind of sinky hand. Did Merlin just say Vegeta? Sure sounded like he said Vegeta. But let me see. Skahawk? Yeah. I was, the funny thing is is that that dude, because he's a dude who watches a lot of my videos, forgive me for not remembering your name right now just because I'm so tired because I just, it's late as hell. Really? This is the shootiest hand I've ever had. Um, you'll pronounce me. And then eventually you'll tell me like, oh, that's, uh, you're getting on the right track. You're kind of right, but also you're still wrong. But hey, there we go. Rome wasn't built in a day. And so my language will not, my language learning will not stop just because I screw up occasionally. What is failure but just a, <laughs> the process of learning? If you don't fail, I mean, if you don't learn, then you're not failing. And if you don't fail, you never learn. There you go. Put it on your tombstone, everyone. Wokey said this. If you die, that's game over, bro. But if you learned from the failure, then at least you learned while you died. What, what, what? I am no king, but I follow the king's path. By the way, have I mentioned before how much I'm kind of bummed out she doesn't always say, Behold the sword that killed my beautiful father? Because it really was my favorite thing about her old Noble Phantasm, was that she said that to every single opponent. Um, which made me feel like, oh, she has some kind of pride in her in her, her father mom. Well, no, it's a father. It was um, Artoria, aka Saber, who gave birth to... No, she... Merlin gave her the Wang, and then she used that to impregnate her cousin. There you go. That's how the deep lore and fate goes.
People hate when you bring it up. I don't understand why. This is the this is the lore. People also don't like it when you bring up the semen bullets from Fate Zero either, from the story version, the, from the book version. Here's the thing. If you are unable to look at some of the more questionable things in the series you love, and you only cherry pick the stuff that you truly find great, then I think that you actually don't like the series all that much. Because if you don't celebrate the stuff where it's like weird, and like, if you're not able to poke fun at it as well, then I don't understand why you're into the series. And to be fair, maybe it's because the stigma of like, oh, it's good, but and the only thing anyone ever sees it at is, is, as, is as porn. And the answer is, is because no matter what you say, Fate Stay Night is a weird, bad porno. Um, not to say that it's not a... The themes it tries to tell in its visual novel aren't bad, but in terms of porn, it's bad. Because uh, no one wants to talk about philosophical debates while we're whacking it. If you do, don't tell me, please. Um, but my point stands. If you like to whack it, you usually don't like to be philosophical about it. So in terms of... Uh, shoot. In terms of a porno mag, it's not the greatest. Is what I'm trying to say here. It could be better. But you need to be able to embrace fate for what it is. So what is fate but a series of really weird coincidences? Somehow, through whatever reason, um, this series that got only got, from what I understand, the only reason that it had porno in it was to help it sell. It worked. Um, because you know what? That can never escape it. What's the number one requested feature in Fake Grand Order? It's they want the ability to fuck your servants. So it's not like... You're never gonna escape it. So it's better to just embrace it, and if you just hate it so much, then I would suggest you just leave it. That's my that's my gut feeling on that one. If you know if you disagree, it's fine. But that's my current feeling of it. It's just that you need to be able to embrace everything about it. Like I need to be able to embrace uh, embrace all the weird shit about Dragon Ball Z. It's not all just about um, Frieza versus Goku on Namek and the awesome moments there. It's also a series in which a guy wins because he has no nose, and he's able to beat a man whose main attack is touching his crotch and making him smell it, so... I don't know. Don't don't be all up in it, is what I'm trying to say. This got really weird at the end, but it's fine because we got more steaks, baby. Give me them steaks. Mmm. Tasty steak. Steakums. Alright, I'm gonna keep grinding this off camera. That's it for today's video. I hope you had fun <laughs> watching me grind. Um, hmm. I hope your grind goes good. Uh, I kind of like this Fate, Fate Epoch event if we want to do an update on it. Uh, I think it's using the characters well. It's using, which is funny, it's using the knowledge you have of Epoch extremely well, even though I think Epoch is a dog shit uh, Fate series. It uses it very well. Um, and that's it. All right, everyone, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Remember, if you liked the video, leave a like. There you go. Bye.